We start tonight with severe weather that spawned a small tornado in Battleground. This is video from weather photographer Tyler Mode. You can see the rotation in the sky. This happened right about 7 o'clock tonight. Then the storm gets closer and moves right in front of his camera. Uh, the first thing I noticed was you could hear the uh, tree snapping, and I'm not sure how big they were and where exactly they were falling. Uh, and then in the video, you can see the wind pick up very dramatically. Wow. Well, there are no reports of major damage, and our photographer found a lot of branches down and one large tree that fell into some power lines. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Matt Zafino with more on the storm. Matt, what a day in the weather. Yeah, pretty wild, Laurel. We had the rain, of course, but this, of course, tops it all. Tyler gets a lot of great video and uh, pictures of weather around the Northwest. Great to see. All right, let me show you Doppler radar. This is from 7 o'clock till about 8.30, and it was not a very big cell. There it goes right across the heart of Clark County, the northern end of Battleground. The Doppler part of this shows the wind. I'm not showing you that, but it shows twisting in the wind. And so this tornado was actually uh, indicated on Doppler radar as this went on through. So the National Weather Service uh, issued a uh, severe thunderstorm warning for that as it moved on by. We've got more video for you of this as well because there was a lot of it and it was really cool. Check this out. This is from another viewer up in Clark County and you can clearly see the circulation going around with that tornado as it moved on through. What will happen next is this because this happened right around well after sunset. The National Weather Service will always go out and do a storm survey when there's a tornado in the area and judging by the damage, they can tell how strong the winds were and that's how they assign a classification to the tornado. So here's what we know about this tornado. Uh, it was shown on Doppler radar, lots of reports and public uh, reports and video of it indicating a tornado. The storm survey will happen tomorrow, of course, during daylight. They'll be able to tell how strong it was. It was likely an EF0 tornado. What an EF0 tornado is, is this. On the Fujita scale, winds between 65 and 85 miles an hour. So again, likely a weak tornado, but we'll be able to tell from the damage once we get to survey out there during daylight hours tomorrow. Laurel, back to you. We look forward to hearing more about that and also about our weather for tomorrow a little bit later on. Thank you, Matt.